As long as I'm not violating the rights of another person, I should be able to, you know, claim the free state of Daryl. Uh, okay, uh, but but aren't you uh, that that uh, property that you're living on, that land? It's is that really yours? Where? How did you get that property? Well, based on the current paradigm, nobody can really own land because try not paying your local property taxes. After three years, some local government will come kick you off of your land and sell the land to the highest bidder. So currently, no, no one can own property. Okay, so as you, as so you have estate, no property here. So I don't understand, like, you know, why? how would you possibly secede? Well, right now, you're not allowed to. Right now, if you go buy a piece of land from someone and you say, I don't want to be part of the town, I don't want to... Uh, benefit in any way from any of the supposed services that the town provides. I'm not going to send you any money. I'm not going to use your schools. I'm not going to use your fire department. I just want to live on my land and be completely self-sufficient and not pay your taxes. After three years, the town would come, kick you off of your property, and seize your land. How would you know it's I your think, land? How would you prove that it's your land? Well, in theory, you would have a property deed because that's what happens when you buy property. Who would issue the property deed? You get a deed. Well, right now, there are governments that issue those things. And what I'm saying is we're talking about the current paradigm of how could you own land? And there are things right now that exist. When you go buy land, you get a deed for the land. Right. If you're talking about what would happen in a free society, then there would be competing agencies, probably, that would issue such deeds. Which one would you're be? You're asking the... me to centrally plan liberty, and that's not what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in, Wait Sam, a second. I want to hear about that other paradigm. Right. Hold on, Sam. Hold on. Let me finish my thought, and if you keep trying to piss me off, I will disconnect from the call. So... You're asking me to centrally plan liberty. I'm not interested in centrally planning liberty. I'm interested in promoting the idea of human freedom. Okay, so so wait a second. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm just trying to figure well, out. I think you absolutely did mean to upset me. No, I... I think you absolutely do want to try to push me into a corner to where you can say, see, you don't have the answers of how freedom works. Damn it, Sam! Nobody has all the answers on how freedom well, works. I'm... That's why freedom is so important. Because people should have the right to make decisions that other people might not agree with. That's well, why Darryl. I support freedom. That's why I love freedom. Well, Daryl, because I... I'm smart enough to know that I don't know how to run your life. Well, Daryl, I'm not. I don't know you, how. To I'm run not asking your you life. how you're going to run my life. I'm sorry. Listen, I don't mean to get you. You're this asking upset. me. How I'm just asking how people will society. know. How, I'm just asking, yeah, like a simple thing, like how do you establish property rights in a in this other uh, paradigm, this other freedom paradigm that you're talking about? You have competing agencies that are going to offer deeds, and I'm just curious as to how how do we determine which one is going to be the um, the 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 the, the the deed that is actually the one that is recognized. I mean, how do we establish these things that you're talking about? Well, let me ask you this question, Sam. If you have five people that issue deeds to five different agencies, or rather five different agencies that try to say different people own the land, mm. there would be some kind of coming together to try to figure out exactly who the owner is. If you've got, let's say, four people recognize Sam owns this property and one says Daryl owns this property. Right. Well, nobody is really going to wind up trusting the one that goes against the grain unless there's, you know, some provability of corruption going on. But well, who would be the arbiter of freedom. this? Who would be the arbiter of this? See, I mean, here's my problem is that See, I know. What, now, hold Daryl. Daryl, Daryl, you got to let Sam. me, you got to let me finish now. OK, uh, this is I my don't know who the arbiter would be. I don't know what size font they would use on the paper. I don't know. Well, I think that's a different. That's a different. The signature would that's be. a different. I don't know that's what a different time issue. The sun will set on June 31st. 
of 2102. You can look that up online. I don't online. know these questions. But, Daryl, listen to me. Listen. You got to let me finish because this is my point: is that I know one of the things you're talking you're about. You're wanting me to centrally Darryl, plan liberty, and that's not well, what I'm interested in. Well, Sam. I understand you're not interested in that, but you're trying to make a pitch to America that libertarianism is I'm better. I'm making a pitch that and you're now, smart enough to be able to decide for yourself, and you don't have a right yeah. to force your opinions on other people. Uh, first of all, I have an absolute right. To uh to uh to, you have to an forcefully right give to my force opinion. People to do what you now, but uh, Daryl, I'm just asking. A you very... are a madman, Sam. If you think that you have a legitimate right to force people to do what you want them to do, I didn't say that. Uh, you you, I, you talked yes, about my in fact, opinion. You did. Now, Daryl, 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 Sam, 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 let, Sam. Let, let me let me let me make a statement. Otherwise, I will disconnect. Okay. I said you do not have a right. To force people to do what you want them to do, and you said yes, I do. No. So you said that you have a right no, to I force people that. to do I what you want them to my do. My opinion, force my opinion on people. But Daryl, look, that's different than Daryl. Don't change, Daryl. Please, you will go to can jail we, unless can, you do. Listen, I understand that you're uncomfortable with the scenario that I'm presenting. But this is this is the reason why no, I'm using I'm this illustration. Daryl, Daryl, now, now it's my turn to threaten quiet. you that I'm going to have to mute you if you won't let me at least finish my thought. Now, come on. Go ahead. Finish your thought. And okay. quit trying to force me to centrally plan liberty. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm not sure I know what that means. But my point is this, is that uh, libertarians, if I'm not mistaken, do not like the fact that a government has a monopoly of force. And I am suggesting that in this case of a piece of property where we don't know who it belongs to, there are three agencies that say it's mine, there's one agency that says it's yours, you believe that your agency is the most legit agency and that my three agencies are corrupt. I believe I've got three agencies. Three is more than one. Well, you say, look, I'm going to go find two other agencies that say that they, this property belongs to me. And then the question becomes, how do we resolve this? And you're saying, like, well, it's just going to work out. And I'm saying that at the end of the day, when we work, when we actually walk through this in uh, in in reality, even if it's your paradigm, you're saying your that reality, freedom doesn't work. I'm saying that that's you're right. You're saying freedom that doesn't I'm work. I'm saying that's correct. That you're we're going to need that, an authority that's going to adjudicate this. And that authority ultimately is going to have a monopoly of power. And the only way that uh, we're going to function and not end up in a fight that is going to determine this is if we all agree mutually, my agencies, your agencies, my people, your people, we all agree to submit to a authority that has a uh, a monopoly of power. Now, the best case scenario so is that we make sure that this down. authority is at least as representative of us as possible. That's what I'm suggesting. Let me ask this question, Sam. Yes. What happens if I don't pay taxes to your authority? To, to our authority? What happens? You, you're the one saying that we need a... Uh, a uh, group that has a uh, legitimate use on the force of violence to force people to do what is best. And I'm saying, what should happen to me if I refuse to pay for your agency that is going to force people to do what you believe is best? So in other if words, I decide I don't like your agency killing people in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. I will not fund that. What should happen to me? Well, I mean, I think if you don't pay your taxes to our government, uh, they'll ultimately put you in jail. No, I'm asking you, Sam, what do you think should happen? Not what does happen, because we know what does happen. What do you think? I want you to say it. I want you to say that I belong in jail because I don't pay taxes. If you say don't it, pay Sam. taxes to the U.S. government, ultimately, I think you belong in jail. Thank you for saying that, Sam. You're a horrible, despicable person. Thank you for having me on your show. Daryl? <laughs> Daryl? All of a sudden, I look like a mental health <laughs> heavyweight. Well. Hmm. <laughs> Walter Block <laughs> looks like the Dalai Lama. <laughs> well, I... I 
I thought he was talking hypothetically. I don't think that uh, I would necessarily put him in jail right now. But, yeah, I think if you don't pay your taxes uh, that are due, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I think if it's, you know, I think you should get an opportunity to pay a fine first. And uh, But I think he wanted me to say, he kept saying, say it. So I, so I said it. <laughs> And um, I'm sorry that ended so uh, quickly. Um, I, Me too. <laughs> I, I I didn't even have a get. I didn't even get to, to the opportunity to ask him about the requirement for licenses. Um, <laughs> is it worth it? Me trying to call him back? I mean, I wanted to. Why not? Let's take a break. Well, here's what I would see. say. I want to just talk. I didn't mean to offend him. Here's what I would say. I, I would having, exercise your freedom by calling him back. I was having a, a conversation and, you know, for him to hang up on me because I said something that he found offensive in that way, I think is just, uh, I think is just, uh, frankly, I think it's rude. I mean, we're trying to exchange intellectual ideas. I didn't. This was not an odd hominem attack. I didn't say he's a criminal. I I thought he was talking in a hypothetical scenario. Um, I also think that if he commits any other crime, that is ultimately he skips bond, let's say, and and doesn't uh, do what the court says. That yes, uh, uh, people uh, got to go to jail. I don't know how else you compel people to uh to follow the laws of the country i mean i think you know um should i, I should i call him back afterwards or maybe i would try him again why not let's see if we can all be civil i don't i, I didn't i think he was looking for a place to jetpack out of that conversation you don't think he was trying <laughs> You think he was trying to jump out of the conversation? Oh, most definitely, but yeah. i would give him no, a call back. Because I don't think that's fair because i think that um would you would you email him? I, I would, I'm he, feeling a little uncomfortable about him having my email address well, he right already now. Does. To be honest with you, so send him <laughs> send him an email and ask him if I can call him back. I don't want to do it if it's you know rude, but I think like um, I, I think there's an impression that people might get from that that he couldn't defend his ideas, and I don't think that's uh, a, a fair conclusion to draw. I think he just got a little bit overheated. He has been. I'm writing to him right now. While he's been he's been points taken. You of course, Sam is indeed just, a madman and a horrible person. The, listen, <laughs> just no, <laughs> you no, made no, honestly, we just send him an email and say, "Look, I don't want people to have the impression that uh, Daryl couldn't defend his ideas." I mean, that one of the reasons why we want him on the program is that he has been out there willing to debate the ideas, and I think that you know. Because I said an idea. I mean, frankly, you know, there are ideas that he had that I find offensive. Um, and uh, just that I would have to, uh, I don't know, wage war to determine that uh, this is a piece of my property with all his agencies or whatever it is. It so, seems. Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed, subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook and just generally enjoy us.